Hello, my name is Orit Wasserman. I used to be a Redis Gateway Core developer. Uh, um, but now I moved to be an architect in Lightbits Lab. It's a very cool uh, Israel-based and San Jose-based startup. And we're doing very interesting thing with NVMe, NVMe over public, and T NVMe TCP. Let's look at NVMe. NVMe was introduced to, because it optimized the high performance we can get from SSDs. The next step was NVMe over Fabric over RDMA, and then later Fiber Challenge. And then we invented NVMe TCP. So why do you want TCP? Well, because everybody knows TCP. It's the most commonly widely used network protocol. It doesn't require any changes to your network infrastructure. And it's actively developed and maintained by all the biggest vendors in the network. It also can deliver high performance and low latency and can use for large scale deployment and very long distances that can be a problem for RDMA. The standard was ratified in November 2010. We are the main inventor in the standard together with Facebook, Intel, and others. Uh, the code was the NVMe host and the upstream NVMe target was merged into the kernel 5.0. Uh, we are the first company to that have a commercial NVMe target. And also, so we have a software-defined solution, like OS, and also an appliance super SSD. So I can self can use NVMe TCP. The first time I actually thought of using CEF with NVMe TCP was when I, we were deploying our system for machine learning, and the customer had an old Redis Gateway cluster, and of course, it only had hard disks. They wanted to, to move to Bluestore and use NVMe for the metadata, but they have a problem. In order to use NVMe, they, had to, they didn't have any free slots in the servers, and they actually need to reduce the capacity in order to add NVMe. NVMe TCP, because it's a network protocol, doesn't require that. You can actually use self metadata on NVMe TCP without the need to uh, decrease your capacity or to add additional disk. We also have very complex data protection mechanism in our box, and it does erasure coding without affecting the performance. So even if you lose one SSD, it doesn't affect Ceph, and it doesn't need to do a fa any fellow handling. Uh, but of course, you need to make sure that uh, your craft map is a, knows about it, and you actually put each replication on a different node. And this way, you can scale. Also, you can use, if you use RBD, you can use NVMe TCP for the data. And that leaves, you, as you know, the OSD, you need to run several OSD for, to get the, the full put NVMe can get. And this way, you can give the OSD the CPU it needs just for its, its work and not for the NVMe stack. The next step, of course, is a full integration. This is needed if the latency, the TCP does as a cost around tens of microseconds. Uh, but if you, you can integrate it to a single box. But the real future is, oh, sorry, technical issue. is we actually working on a key value interface, and we can actually do a full integration with the OSD, and we hopefully replace RocksDB in the future. So if you want to know more on Ceph and NVMe TCP, come talk to me later. Thank you.